Breaking news, a 13-year-old boy has been duct taped to his seat when he was leaving Hawaii from a holiday. And I warn viewers that this story contains disturbing imagery. A teenager was flying back from America on board an American Airlines A321 when he got into a fight with his mum. Unlike other typical tantrums that you may expect from a child, this one decided to take it out on the aircraft's door, claiming that he was trying to get off the plane and get away from his mum. The flight from Maui was unfortunately then had to reschedule back to a different destination. It had to fly from Maui after 30 minutes, turn back to Honolulu, where the passengers were then put into hotels or put onto other flights, all because of this child. And during the time, the child had to be restrained on board with duct tape. The airline had the following for this to say. Flight 212 from Maui to LAX was diverted to Honolulu due to an incident with a passenger on board. After landing at Honolulu at 3.47 p.m. local time, customers were reaccommodated on other flights or provided hotel accommodations. Safety and security is our top priority and we apologize to our customers for any inconvenience that this may have caused. But of course, this is actually not our first outrageous duct taping incident that we have seen on board airlines in America. I'm now going to take you back to June, where a woman was duct taped on board a flight late at night to North Carolina. So what happened here is that a flight was leaving Dallas-Fort Worth to North Carolina, and approximately an hour into the flight, a woman started to sound restless and strange, screaming at flight attendants and insisting that she be allowed to get off the plane. Of course, because the plane was up in the sky, that's not always possible. So then the woman ran to the front of the plane and then attempted to open one of the doors to try and get off the flight. And then this required five flight attendants to actually take her down, and this is the actual quote, from a passenger and drag her back to a seat where they duct taped her and as you can see from this vision from someone later on it was actually quite strange she was then met by local authorities who then took her into custody this matter is still ongoing and we yet have to see what happens from the various court cases of course we're not done yet there's actually one more case that I want to talk to you about today and this one's a little bit sleazy so if you're a little bit squeamish, perhaps you won't exactly want to want to know what happens here. So this next story takes place with the Miami Police Department, who have stated that this passenger on board a flight to Miami had a little bit too much to drink. He had two beverages and then used one of the cups to grope the rear side of a female flight attendant. He then asked for a third drink, which he unfortunately missed his mouth, spilling it all over himself and requiring him to go get changed. He came out of the bathroom with no shirt and then asked a flight attendant to help him get his clothes out of his overhead bins for 15 minutes. He then used that opportunity to grope other flight attendants before being restrained in his seat. Because he didn't like the male flight attendant watching over him, he then demanded with his fist to go back to the female flight attendants. This then involved the flight attendants using the old duct tape method to keep him restrained until they were able to land in Miami. The matter is still ongoing to court, but we'll have to see what happens next. Frontier Airlines had the following statement. During a flight from Philadelphia to Miami on July 31st, a passenger made inappropriate physical contact with a flight attendant and subsequently physically assaulted another flight attendant. As a result, the passenger needed to be restrained until the flight landed in Miami and law enforcement arrived. The flight attendants will be, as required in such circumstances, relieved of flying pending completion of an investigation of the events. So as we can see, using duct tape on passengers seems to be the only solution to contain an unruly passenger. 
it does seem a little bit barbaric to use this on a child, but as we can see in these scenarios, they have all been a danger to the, either the crew or the passengers on board the plane, or lastly, perhaps the function of the aircraft itself. And I think if we asked any of those passengers on board these flights, they would be completely fine restraining a passenger who was trying to open a door. Thanks for jumping into this quick episode of Aviation Station. If you enjoyed this little hot take, then leave me a like down the below. And if you want to see more, then subscribe. I'll catch you in tomorrow's video.